outside of my lens. Oh! So moving on to the front caliper. The piston was seized on this bike when I got it. It wouldn't roll, so it was all gummed up. It had all this rust right around this ring here. And each time I would compress the brake lever, nothing would happen. So I disassembled it and I put it inside this little tub here with mystery oil. And as you can see, it's just like that red stuff. Let sat in there for about 48 hours and 48 hours was enough to break a freebie is I threw the line on, ran it up to the front lever, and finally, if we can see this, it is moving. Let's see how close I can get. And as I pump, it's slowly coming out. So, I'll just keep going with it, try and get it out as far as I can. So once I get this, I can clean it out, get all that corrosion. Um, now, as I'm doing this, I gotta make sure to check the uh, brake fluid in the reservoir here and just make sure I have plenty because as this compresses, all that fluid is gonna start pooling up into this little pocket here behind the piston. But as I move it, hopefully you can see it. Now, I've been pumping that for a little while. I'm gonna check the fluid here inside the master cylinder. So once that goes dry, nothing's gonna happen. Just gonna add a little bit to the top here to the reservoir. Let's get pumping. Like this so you can see it. There it goes, it's coming out. I'm gonna check the reservoir one more time. Once it's low in the reservoir, the rubber seal will pop up. So you're gonna push that down and add a little more. There we go, we got a little mist coming out. And I need a little bitch, and there it is. So there's the piston. But this whole thing is full of all your brake fluid. So I'm going to set that aside. I don't want that spilling all over the place. So all that grungy stuff in there, it's got to get dumped out. And then if you see, this is all corroded right here. All right, so here are all the components after their mystery oil bath. Get all this shit out. All right, so that's the piston that's all corroded that needs to be polished. Here's the brake pad guide pin. That's got some corrosion on here that we need to get rid of. Banjo bolts, guide pins. All right, cool, so I got my piston inside my vise. I'm gonna get all this corrosion off. I'm using my drill with my little uh, wire wheel. I'm just gonna go nice and slow right around. Alright cool, now that we got the caliper, the piston, all that stuff disassembled, I polished off all that crap, I'm going to hit it with a little flitz later. So everything is down over here, bagged up, ready to go. So next thing I'm going to do is sandblasting. Sandblasting. So I taped off and masked off all the polished parts that I can't get fucked up. Uh, oop, I got to do this inside as well.
All right. So here we go. Nice and sandblasted. No paint on there. Perfect. Even with the screws, the bolts, they came out fine. Perfect. All right, I got the oven preheating right now. I'm gonna outgas everything at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get some wire. This is some old Romex that I just had. And what I like to do is strip this, and I can cut this in half. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use the wire from inside here to hang everything, just make it a little bit easier and go from there. Let's see, best screw hole is going to be this guy right here. Baking away. Still got our 15 or so minutes on the outgassing on that stuff. In the meantime, I'm gonna start working on polishing up this master cylinder, I'm sorry, this caliper piston. So I'll set this aside for now. Flits. So if you can see that, it's definitely more of a mirror finish now, so Looking good. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. So, I'm gonna clean up these uh, seals. All right, that's, that bad boy is lubed. That's gonna be the pain in the ass part. I'm gonna be doing so many nuts and bolts in the next couple, probably week or so. That's gonna be one of my objectives is to go through all the fucking bolts. All right, it's been well over a half an hour, which is not a problem, and I'm gonna take out the parts from the outgassing. Wipe this on. Now, I'm gonna have to tape off some spots here. All right, so everything is masked off. I got my little silicone stoppers everywhere, except for that little screw there. Everything else is good. So I'm gonna get prep these. These are going uh, Jolly Rancher Red, Jolly Rancher Red. The red came out really, really good. Check it out. It's got a very ni uh, nice candy color to it. Pretty consistent. 
a little difficult to get on the inside there, but I'd say it looks pretty good. So the calipers are powder coated. Everything came out really, really good with that. And I just cleaned them up, cleaned out the inside. Now I'm gonna work on the interior pieces, try and get these all finished and polished up, ready to go. So this is the piston and the outside looks much, much better from what it was. But I do wanna just clean out that inside, get any kind of rust out that I can just to reduce rusting in the future. All right, so the inner lip, the inner lip is good. I just gotta get down into that center point, right in the back. All right, cool. So finally, after two days, I have got my caliper ready to go. I mean, it's beautiful. This Jolly Rancher Red looks way better than that shitty stuff we had before, so. So here we go, let's assemble this bad boy. All I'm doing is working the seal back into its hole here. So, got a little, there you go, premium grease. I'm gonna add that and just Cap off that inside there. Too much. Let's see if I can show you here. Try not to make a giant mess. So we got that in. Next up is replacing the little seals here on this side. goes. There's a little bit of sediment inside there. So I made two versions, or I have two banjos, one from each of the uh, lever, but I have a new one for the top. So I have a black and I polished out the uh, other one. So we're going to see which one I like better. Do we want the chrome one or do we want to stick with the black one? I think we're probably going to stick with the black one just because we went through a little extra work and I'm trying to avoid most chrome. So that'll sit there. Uh, on this side, this is where the um, brake pad guide is. I'm just tying this in to make sure everything seats properly. And as you can see, there you go. You got one, two, three, all in there. Perfect. And it sticks out. So that's all we need on this. I'm going to move over to the other side. All I'm doing is guiding. Come on.
Perfect. That is a complete job. If this is any indication on how this bike's gonna look, I mean, yeah, that's, that's really sharp. I don't wanna be too proud of myself, but it just came out nice compared to the shitty thing that it was before. <laughs>